It is a super snowy and blustery day. Like our windows are covered in snow um, and super blowy and the roads are really bad apparently. So when I first, hey yo, when I first got up this morning, I was like, maybe we should have a snow day today because I know all the schools around here are having a snow day. Um, and it's probably their like fourth or fifth this school year and we haven't had any because we don't need to take snow days. Um, so I was like, should we have one? <laughs> but then as I'm just like lying in bed thinking about it, it's like, honestly, for one, it's easier to have like set school, like set things for the kids to do in the mornings than to just let them run free, especially when they can't even go outside. So I'd rather just have like our scheduled stuff for them to do. Plus number two, <laughs> You are so cute, you're distracting me. You are so cute. But number two, um, I would so much rather just get working on school now and get it done so that we can be off from school by the time it's actually nice outside, like in the spring, you know? Like I don't really care to take a day off today when the kids can't go outside, it's so snowy, it's so yucky when instead we can be done one day earlier in June or maybe even the end of May. Like, I would so much rather that. He was just sitting here listening to me. You are the cutest little kid. Did you know that? You're the cutest little kid. We need to put a bib on you because we've already started this day off bad. Yeah. He's really gotten the hang of jumping. <laughs> Good job, kiddo! <laughs> Hello, my dear. What are you doing? I'm sitting. I know, but are you coloring? Yeah. <laughs> Can you show us what you colored? Yeah. Wow, that is super nice. Yeah. I like yeah. it. Anything. Are you going to color something on that side, too? Yeah. Okay. What are you going to color now? Um, anything. Okay. After you color, you need to put your lids back on your markers, honey. We can't leave lids, leave markers without lids on, okay? What is on this page here? Um, what is it? Um, dots. Lots of dots. That looks pretty cool. Simeon, what are you coloring, bud? Mommy, this. <laughs> cool. It's for Alora. It's for Alora? Yeah. Oh. It says S A M E one. It's for me. Let's see. Where did you write it? <gasps> you did. Good job. It's S I M E O N. So this is how it goes. S S I M E O N. That's how you spell your name. How do you spell it? S S I M E O N. I love hearing you say that. This is how we spell it. Hey, little mess. This is it spelled like this. Song. Because it only had S O. How do you spell your name? M S O. A R A. Can you write it? No, so, we're still working on writing it, so, but she knows so, how to so. spell it. No, so, we bought a new pair of headphones for Charity so that her and Elijah can yeah. do math at the same time. So she's doing hers on the laptop. Sam, shh, it's like a constant trying to keep these guys quiet. Sam and Zara, if you're not quiet, you're going to have to go downstairs or upstairs. Okay, so these guys can concentrate. I'm getting these guys to not talk to the little kids. So she's working on the laptop. Elijah's over here doing his math at the computer. What's the problem here? I'm adding 20 and 32 minus 19. 38 minus 19. Okay. And I got it to 9. Okay. It's my answer. It's not, it's just not right. What, what did you say your answer was? 9? Yes, I need it. But it can't be 9 because... If you took one away from the three, then you have a two. Right? Two minus one is what? Two minus one is zero. Right. So that's right. Good. Good work. And I definitely don't understand how this guy can sleep through so much. Sim, quiet. Now I do understand why he's so tired because last night was a late night and he's been in this new lovely, not lovely, habit of getting up every morning at 6.30. But he's not like 
awake at 6.30, he like just like cries and cries and like wiggles and his eyes are still closed and he's just like, I don't know. I'm like, Wesley, just open your eyes and be happy or <laughs> go back to sleep or something. But it's like that in between, but he's not content. Anyways, so he is due for a nice long morning nap and I am just getting myself another coffee. I say that I'm getting another coffee, but I do, I've told you guys this, but I pour myself half cups of coffee so that I don't have so much to drink that I have to like continually and continually um, reheat. Oh no, my pot is empty. Well, okay, I guess we've got like a quarter cup and I'm gonna be making a new pot. Lunch prep while the kids just finish up some spelling. So today we have um, some mayonnaise and mustard on our sandwiches, ham, cheese, and lettuce. And then I'm also gonna chop up some cucumber slices and some apple slices for lunch. I actually just finished ordering some curriculum for next year. Yeah, it seems so early, but I wanted to just, just this week I was, um, actually last week I wrote a list of all the curriculum I want to buy for this year. And so then on my to-do list for this week, I had that I wanted to just kind of price check and see where the best prices are for some of this curriculum that I want to buy like in the next two or three months. And then, so this morning, I was kind of price checking that, and christianbook.com had a really good sale on some of our curriculum. So they had a good sale on Apologia, which we use for science. They had a good sale on their first language lessons, which we use for grammar. They had a sale on Story of the World, which we use for history. And they also had, what else to, oh, Explode the Code. All their Explode the Code books were like 35% off or something. So 200 bucks on that curriculum, but that is, I wanna say about a third of the curriculum that we're gonna need for this fall. So, I got a good head start um, on buying some curriculum and that feels good to get some of that bought. Let me know down in the comments how early you guys shop for curriculum. I know I'm an early shopper, but I do like to price check and my parents are going down to see my sister in the States in May, and so I wanted just to do some price checking and stuff and see what I want to buy um, to send to her that my parents can bring back up to me because um, that's the last time I think they'll see her before school starts in the fall. So I do shop early, but let me know how early you guys shop or how late you shop. Hello, look at this little guy. He always wants to get his hands in his mouth, but when you've got a bib on, it makes it tricky, doesn't it? Yeah, is that you? So we're currently working on first language lessons with Elijah. He's doing his workbook while I ask him questions from here. He's diagramming some sentences. I can't believe already at this level. This is level three, so what I ordered today was um, the next level. So you told me that rock is the action word, right? Yeah. So now what is the subject? Who Mo rocks? Mothers. Mothers. So write mothers to the left of your center line. Snack time! And the kids are begging for flavoring on their popcorn today, so that's what we're doing. Oh my goodness, our whole house smells so, so good. Oh my word, I'm making a big mess. All right, so these kids are all having a big bowl of popcorn for snack. I should make popcorn for snacks more often because really it is one of the kids favorites if not their favorite they love having popcorn um but and it's really such an inexpensive snack too like if you just buy the popcorn kernels it really is inexpensive simeon um just give me one second and i'll answer you um but and it's easy i think it's i think of it as being more work but it's really not much work i think it's just more dishes because i have the big old popcorn thing to wash so i use coconut oil i just put a couple spoonfuls of that in this popper um and then this is kind of leaking oil too so every time i have to wipe down the counter because it gets oil underneath it anyways but healthy snack not so much with the flavoring but overall a healthy snack anyways they're gonna have their snack wesley just woke up from a nap we'll see how long he lasts happy over there because whoo i'm dropping the ipad i am about to do a workout i am doing a cardio kickboxing well hello there beautiful you look amazing who are you you're zara but who are you dressed as sweetie 
spinning. <laughs> you like to spin in there, just Oh my goodness. Yes, honey. Your shirt is on the floor that you took off. Uh oh. That's okay. You're gonna change back into it after. Anyways, we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna do a cardio kickback kickboxing workout by Fitness Blender. It's this one right here. 37 minutes. So. We'll see how that goes. We'll see if I get the whole thing in. <laughs> um, but we'll try to do it before he, Wesley is hungry. And um, yeah. Well, as you can probably tell by my face, that was a really good workout. I almost finished it. I think I had like five minutes left and then Wesley started getting cranky. So I quickly did a cool down. Now I'm feeding him. And um, Zara, stop biting your toenails. Oh, my word. Um, some days, not every day, but some days I let them play um, a little like educational game on the iPad. Like one. What are you playing? Well, you playing ABC Mouse? No. Kids Academy? Yeah, Kids Academy. Well, okay. Sarah's watching me. That's fine. Anyways, then I need to get this guy fed, finish feeding, um, get a protein shake, and make supper. I'm much in need of a shower, but it'll have to happen later on tonight. So. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.